What's up, boo things? I'm Nicole, also known as Cola Cole. If you are new and you stumbled across the channel, if you enjoy any of the content, please go ahead, subscribe, like, comment, notification bell on. Over here, we do a little bit of nursing, we do a little bit of makeup, we do a little bit of hauls, but most of all, we do a whole lot of living over here. It's a lifestyle channel. And today, boo things, we go back to the ghetto. We have a flight at. I don't even know. I should know. I feel like at 2, maybe 2.30, it's 10. I'm doing what you do before you leave your house and go on a trip. I'm doing my laundry. I'm cleaning up. So when I come back home, I come back home to a clean house. I got, you already know, I got my incense going. I need to make me some coffee. Let me make me some coffee. Um, I ain't got now grocery, so I ain't have nothing to eat. What I did do, what I did do is <laughs> got me a Uber Eats and I got Shipley's. I know a lot of y'all probably don't know what Shipley's is because I don't feel like Shipley's is everywhere. But anyway, it's whatever local donut breakfast kolache place that you may have. And I got me my favorite from them, which is a sausage cheese and jalapeno kolache. I can't wait. I'm going to warm it up just a little bit. I got me, I'm, I don't know why, I'm weird. I'd rather have the donut holes than the um donut. So I got those that I've been talking about. Do I need this? No. Is any of this helping me get fine for whatever country Ebony taking me to in May for her birthday? No. But guess what? I'm going to eat it. Because when I go back into the ghetto, which is Boston, I'm going to be eating air. Even if I'm physically chewing something, it tastes like nothing. So, and I got me some orange juice because once again, we ain't got, we ain't got no groceries. And I want some orange juice. And I got to take my daily emergency and I ain't have no orange juice to mix it with. When's the last time y'all had some boarding juice, milk? Yeah, boarding is what uh the elementary schools used to, used to buy uh back in the day. Boarding juice, boarding milk, boarding everything. And these days, as a grown ass woman, I ain't about boarding nothing. Cause my milk is the store brand, and my juice is uh you know simply simply mini made. I gotta have that juice. That's my favorite juice. Brand of juice. Um, what else I need to tell y'all about? Okay. I bought some candles. Um, female, black owned, local here in Houston. And this is her card. So make sure you go to her Instagram. Check her out. She has candles. She makes candles. I bought four. I bought two of this one. The other one is going to be in y'all's 1K giveaway. It's going to be two candles in there. So far, because I'm still getting it together. I think a video ago or two, I had said I was going to tell y'all what it was and pick a person. I lied because I ain't got everything for it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thus far, it has two candles. I'm going to put some incense in there. Um, the two lip glosses from Morgan that I bought for y'all. And then I wanna put a perfume and like one more thing in there. I don't know what the other one more thing is, but I know a perfume and something else I'm gonna put in there. And then after I do that, I'm gonna pick a person. I'm gonna go ahead and pick a person. I'm not gonna tell y'all who it is because it's pointless until I get all of the stuff and I can mail it out. And I'm not gonna be able to do that until I get back. And right now we're planning on coming back like St. Patrick's Day, I think, March 16th, 17th. And today is March 7th. So in like 10 days, basically, um, we're gonna come back home. It's only gonna be for another like three or four days. Come home and then the contract is over the last week of March. So that's that. Oh, oh, 
sidetrack. See, ADHD in my old age. Okay, the candles. This, where's my phone so I can tell y'all? Hold on. Okay. I want to tell y'all what the notes are. Just so you can get an idea. Man Crush. It is Spicy Rose Musk. Okay, so this one. Man Crush. This cutie has a fresh scent of citrus and spicy rose notes complemented by a blend of woods and musk. This... Put your best foot forward and shoot your shot. I infuse with natural essential oils, lavender, and jasmine. So all that is in here. And to be honest, I don't even know which one is my favorite out of the three that I bought. Like I bought three candles and then she gives you two like sample scents. Um, spice bourbon. If you know what the, my favorite candle from Bath and Body Works, which is the, um, it clearly ain't your favorite, Nicole. You're drawing a blank on it right now. Um, what is it? The pecan pecan waffle. That's what this smells like. So I'm definitely gonna be buying that candle from her. And then Island Breeze. It's another. It smells good. Just buy it. Go buy something. Um, what I was getting at is Man Crush. It smells like I put it on my um Instagram last night. It smells like a grown man it smells like a very grown rich man with ocd in regards to cleanliness and the way he liked things arranged in his house with a pair with multiple pair of dunks and button-up shirts with a side of hookah on the side is what this is giving me right here that type of grown man what is it lord um yacht party I'm telling you, it's, it smells fresh and clean too. It has, let me find it for y'all. Okay, Yacht Party. This bubbly citrus fragrance is a beautiful champagne, it's a beautiful champagne blend with mimosa blossoms and a touch of mandarin. Amber and sandalwood round out the citrus blends, creating an intensifying, zesty, juicy scent. I agree with that. I can definitely, I get champagne and mimosa vibes with this. And then the other one that I bought is Date Night. That one smells good. I feel like date night for me. I don't want to say my favorite thus far. I don't know. It's hard. I can't pick one. Date night has... Let's see. Take on the town with this lux... Lu Take on the town with this lux luxurious sun-bleached linen wrapped in lemon and white tea infusions. Bold lily of the valley aromas enhance the clean sweetness while sandalwood and vanilla balance the quality of this fragrance. So, lemon, sandalwood, lily, linen. Yeah. This one reminds me of something. You know how they say scent is the strongest, smell is the strongest scent associated with memory? This reminds me of something or someone. I can't really pull what it is, but that's probably why I think it's my favorite. Anyway, I'm going to eat my kolache and then get my life together because let's see what time. My, our pickup time is at 12.30, so we got two hours to enjoy home, guys. So I'm going to pick y'all back up in a little bit. We are ready. I mean, we're not ready, but we're ready to go. <laughs> our purse is packed up. We got on our freshly washed airplane clothes that we came here in. I took the trash out. I 
I made my bed. We folded the clothes. We emptied out the refrigerator from what to go food that we had ordered while we were home. I loaded up my laptop. Y'all know how this goes. If I don't talk to y'all, I'm gonna talk to myself. So since I'm gonna talk to myself anyway, I'm gonna say it out loud. This is my rundown of what I needed to do. I fed Ghost. We're ready. Um, I had something in the mail, coming in the mail that I wanted to show y'all that I bought for myself. I bought it because Neely has one in her Never Fool bag. And I wanted to get one for my MCM bag. Have y'all seen them? It's on Etsy. I'll put her link in the description box. And you can go and look at it. Or I try to put a picture. Something. Because it hasn't made it. It said it's out for delivery. But I was hoping it was going to make it. Anyway, it's an organizer. Like, it sits in your purse. But it can also stabilize your bag for that purse like mine's. So I can just stop throwing shit and having to fumble around in there every time I'm looking for something. I was hoping it was gonna make it, but it's not. Um, <clears throat> we didn't get to do the wig. So when we come home, next time we come home, our plan is to bleach the knots on that wig which I've done before, but it's been a long time ago. So all we got to do is go to YouTube University, you know, watch a few videos. Oh, it's one, two, three, four. All right, guys. Ab and Habu are downstairs. So I'm probably pick y'all back up at the airport. Hi, boo things. Guess where we at? Back. Do you see all this foolishness? I ain't even gotta say it. Because you already know where I'm at. And what's happening, Jesus. Hold on. since I don't know when the last time I seen y'all I felt like I was in Houston anyway we back on our way to the grocery store I already did my little laundry for the day so I could have some drawers some socks and some undershirts before work I don't know what else we're gonna do but because y'all my people whatever it is that I'm doing y'all doing it too tell y'all what happened last night me and elb went and ate at this hibachi restaurant right ate drank paid for the tab put the amount of tip that i felt like i should leave out of my money after i didn't already spent 120 dollars do you know the waitress runs the tab and then comes back to the table and verifies if the tip dollar amount that I left was correct and I said yes and then she points out to me what the recommended amount should be for the tip and I thought I was tripping because she did have um like a heavy accent she's an Asian chick and I thought she was telling me Making sure that the tip that I gave was right because the tip was already included. But no, that ain't what that is not what she was telling me. She was telling me that I didn't give enough and that this was the recommend recommended amount of the tip. And all I could say was, okay. I didn't know what else to say. Like I knew what else to say, but I didn't feel like it would have made a, a point for me to say it once I realized what she was telling me. And the second it like this was this all happened in like a, a split second. And L was like, I do remember reading that in the reviews that they said they tell you 
how much um the amount of tip you should leave if you don't leave what the receipt says my issue with that is one it's my money it's mine's who are you to tell me how much to leave in addition to i've already spent 120 dollars at this here establishment and i left you a good tip based on what i felt like you should get I just don't understand how you get to tell me how much money I should give you as a tip. Especially coming from somebody who don't even fucking get tips. I understand that, you know, people in certain jobs depend on these tips. I get that. I left you a tip. It's not like I didn't leave you a tip. You're telling me how much tip I should leave you just because I should. The tip is based off what I feel like you were worth. Anyway, to end my rant, I'm just saying, I don't feel like it's fair, right, for her to tell me I didn't leave her the amount of tip that she felt like she was worth when I left her a tip and I felt like it was the appropriate amount of money to leave her. All right, we're going to the grocery store, Target, somewhere. Once again, don't say I never gave you anything. These are the bomb. Do I need them? No. Am I gonna get them? Yes. I caught my intention was to come in here and get, you know, good, healthy, but yet tasteful snacks. And then I saw these. I also like these. I think I showed y'all this before. These. This flavor. Eb likes the blueberry flavored ones. And BT Dub, for anyone who doesn't know, I don't ever push the cart. I hate the cart. All my friends know that I'd rather walk around, gather all my stuff, and carry it in my arms. And then find them and put it in the cart. So, update, we're in Providence. What the hell are we doing in Providence? I don't know. Hopefully, finding some really good food to eat, some tasty drinks, and some hookah. <laughs> Ebony said Providence looked like Paul Revere still live here. I know I can tell y'all the dude is uh taking the payments in the parking lot his boo thing clearly she off today or ain't got no job because she just oh, sitting there <laughs> I can't I hope it's not trust issues because uh, honey she is in the car keeping him company while he is at work in the parking lot maybe maybe she just got in town and I ain't seen each other in a while <laughs> thus far we haven't been very successful Last time I saw y'all, we went in. Wasn't what we thought it was. <laughs> so we left. And now where we want to go, like all the places we looked at that we want to go, don't open to freaking 5 o'clock. And it is 3.37 and we're starving. So we gonna go and drink some margaritas and eat some chips and dip and then hopefully go across the street to the place that we actually want to eat. And then find some hookah and carry our asses home because we got to go to work in the morning. And the parking here sucks. Sucks, I tell you.
don't know if I ever told y'all this. I think I have. We got the pork break on or some shit. This motherfucker tell me. Earlier we heard a cricket. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where the cricket is. The cricket still here. I think it's gone. Earlier it was a cricket somewhere in here with this. Now she here. Packing the pork break home. Um, our tequila was good. Our guacamole appetizer was good. The salsa was red hot. Fire on the tongue. Now. And the waitress kept calling us girls. Yeah, the waitress kept calling us girls. You could have said ladies. But yeah, girls. So that got kind of annoying. But you know, don't mind us. Everything's annoying in the Boston Providence area. Don't hear mm -hmm. her. Sorry, huh? I, we fascinated when we see black people. And they fascinated when they see black people. <laughs> the first restaurant we went to, everybody was staring. It was really uncomfortable. Hookah Lounge. Pure. We're going to go there, guys. Um, look. Bentley. Huh? Somebody grandpa in the Bentley. Look at it. It looks like a Hallmark movie. Zero stars. Yeah, I was wondering if this was a parking spot. What is this? I can't parallel park, guys. That's why Elb is driving now. I mean, I can. It just takes a lot of concentration. And then if I fuck up my own car, I can't be mad. Because I did it in my own car. This is where we're trying to go. See how much they're going to charge us to park our own car. $456 million, probably. Put it on the black coin. Yeah, that's my husband vibes. I did it. There was no doubt in my mind. Oh, those are apartments, a book. First off, this is a Walgreens. Hmm. With no parking lot. Yes, no parking lot with the apartments on top. I mean, maybe that's the that's the parking lot right there, Ill. Walgreens. Oh. I mean, but still. Maybe we don't have to park. What the sign say? This is not my